all my friends. <clears throat> we can get back on here. <clears throat> Talk about your injustice system that doesn't work for you or anyone else. This Trump stuff is a good thing because it's starting to bring light onto the injustice system. It tells you how corrupt it really is. You see, the whole system, I've said it before, it's just smoke and mirrors, illusions. It, it doesn't mean a damn thing. But people say, oh, uh, you know, you got to, you got to, it's just what you got to do. You know, you, you just can't go do this and you just can't go do that. You're not free. You're you're a you're a you're a, you're a slave to the system. <clears throat> well, my attitude is real simple. You know, you're not. See, people they bully you, and they push you around, and everything else because you let them. What do you? What happens to a bully when you punch him? Punch him in the nose. Well. He usually turns around and kind of respects you a little bit. See, these people don't even respect that because they send somebody else out to do their dirty work. <clears throat> Son of a gun. I'll tell you what. I think I'm going to need something a little stronger than that because this is, this just, this ain't cutting it, man. This ain't cutting it. I'm sorry. It just, that ain't, that ain't cutting it, so. That, that stuff is just like, I don't know what it is, but it ain't cutting it. <clears throat> God damn, more, got more damn dust in my throat. My God, I don't know what to do with it all. <sighs> See if that makes a difference. So anyhow, we'll see. But, yeah, the justice system, they're out there all over the place. And uh, they can do it to a guy that's a billionaire, president. They can do it to anyone. See, and they're, and they're letting you see the inner workings of how this doesn't work. Because people are taking bribes. There's There's payoffs. There's handouts. There's... There's judges that are being political. I mean, the whole, the whole thing. And what's funny is, then when it gets turned on them, and they're found out, the whole house of cards starts tumbling down, and then all of a sudden, man, every, everybody's out for themselves. It's awful interesting to me that we allow that. You see, people, this country is founded under God by the people, not you and me. See, there is no government without the people. And they sit there and they sit back and go, hey, guess what? You're going to do what we tell you to do because, well, that's just the way it's done. That's how we do things, see? Well, why? Well, because that's, that's, that's how it's done. Really. See, no one has been harmed. Longitude and latitude and elevation can't be harmed. Okay? No private individual came through and said, I was harmed. But they're still going to do as they damn well please. So, well, you have to make your own mind up on how you'd handle the situation. There's nothing wrong with sitting down and talking. 
but they want to distort things and lie about things, do everything. They are the criminals. I think when you start realizing that they are the criminals. You see, something happened. Either the mafia took over the government, or the government took over the mafia. Because it's the same thing. You got to ask for protection and protection money and, and the whole nine yards. You know, you don't go along, they come in and they, they break your stuff up, they tear your shop up, they, they, they burn it, they, they, they beat you up, they, they smash your window, they do whatever they want to do to you, and you will conform. This is why you have Second Amendment, folks. I know, they don't like to hear that. But where does it stop? Yes, God will intervene. God, no question in my mind, judgment is coming. Judgment's coming. But God said you have a right to defend yourself. He said, five will gather together and they'll run a hundred off with their swords. Twenty will gather and they'll run off, you know, five thousand. I'm paraphrasing, but it talks about that. A small group of righteous men will take on an army and defeat it. David was righteous. These people will be your footstool. They will burn in hell. That's the biggest lie they want to tell you. There is no devil and there is no hell. See, when it comes to God, well, that depends what God you're talking about. <laughs> they don't want to define God. You know. So... The problem has been and I remember this from years ago why don't you just go along to get along I'm not built that way I'm not built that way There's no gray area, folks. Like God says, hot or cold, do not, lukewarm ain't cutting it, man. I will spat you out. You will burn in hell. Lukewarm sitting on the fence. You're going to have to make a decision. You're either going to be hot or cold. So, government, they don't want to hear that. They just want you to comply. Because you're supposed to comply. Why? Because they said to. Just like a bully, just like a tyrant, always does. Comply. Just comply. Do what you're told, slave. Do what you're told, peasant. I don't know how people can live like that. Society needs rules. And God gave you those rules. God the creator, your father, that created you in his image, gave you his moral law, told you how to live it, get up and work, 
person that sits on his ass, that that doesn't provide for his family, and, and so on and so forth. Man, he is he is he is the worst. He is the worst. Yeah, you know, he's not talking about people that are crippled and and, and and screwed up. I mean, you know, you know, can't walk, can't stand. I mean, I understand there's people that are infirm. I'm not talking about those. Those are the people we we just help. We 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 feed them. We 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 clothe them. We we provide shelter for them. And those are the things we do as a Christian nation. We will take care of these people. And not half-ass either. We don't take care of these people half-ass. You take care of them and treat them as you would want to be treated. Okay. I'm not talking about put, putting them in a McMansion or anything, but I mean, I'm talking a nice, nice, nice life yet. Okay? But what goes on in this world is horrendous. And a government that will not take a southern border and restrict it. And I'm not, I'm not even talking about the gang members, and the criminals, and quote terrorists, and anybody else that comes through that border. I'm not talking about them even. I'm talking about the fentanyl, the drugs that comes across that border to destroy your children, your grandchildren, your husbands, your wives, your boyfriends, your girlfriends. To destroy lives. I'll tell you. I mean, I, I, I agree with what... Trump says about 99% of what he says, I agree with. Maybe 99.9% .9 of what he says, I agree with. And the death penalty for drug dealers and such, well, yeah, I mean, we're serious, man. Don't. One thing I, I do not agree with him on is, is, is uh, letting the police just do whatever they want to do. Because then you're building a, a, a master class. They need to be held accountable for what they do. They need to be held accountable for illegal activities. They need to be accountable for brutality and everything else. Yes, they need to be accountable for that. You don't give them a blank slate to do whatever they want. They screw up, they should be able to be sued. They should be able to be fired the whole nine yards. If they screw up, you got to set the rules. Same thing as is what's going on with, with, with Trump. He would think he'd learn this by what's going on with him. You give these people a blank slate, look at them. Look what they've done to him. You can't do that with even the police. There has to be guidelines. They have to follow. The law is still the law. I mean, you can't be dealing drugs. You know, you can't be beating little old ladies over the head. You can't be spe stealing people's stuff. I mean, you, you know what I'm saying, the normal stuff. You want to see the most crooked place on the wor in the world? Wall Street. Go to Wall Street. That's the most crooked place in the whole world. And, and probably Hong Kong, you know, the stock market. I mean, wherever there's a main hub of, of, of money like that, it, it, it's just corrupt. Total corrupt. Our banking system is total corrupt. That's because they don't follow the rules. And then they make a whole bunch of stupid ass rules. You don't need to make all the rules. You got too many as this. And then they use them against you and distort them and make a mockery of them. If I was a judge and somebody came to my courtroom like this Fanny and her and her boyfriend there, they wouldn't be sitting outside the jail right now. They'd be sitting in the jail. Yeah, we'd get to the bottom of it. And when I found out 
they did what I think they did, they have a right to put on a defense. But if they get, and I'd let both sides say what they want to say. There would be no stopping testimony. Oh, I'll allow this, I won't allow that, blah, blah. No, you allow both sides to put on a defense. Let them battle it out in front of a jury and a jury of their peers. You don't stack the jury. You see, this is what I'm saying, that the whole system is a, is, is a joke. It's pure evil. You can't trust it. I mean, you'd be better off taking your money going over to your neighbor and saying, here, can you watch, you know, here, here, here's, here's 300 bucks. Here's a thousand dollars. Can you hold that for me? You know, you know, I, they've given it to a bank, given it to a stockbroker, given it to whoever, people you don't even know. I mean, you talk about a bunch of thieves. Yep. Who's the sinner? Oh, that's right. Who did you go have dinner with? That's right, tax collector. Yep. Well, I could go on for hours on this, and I, I, I don't care to, but I just thought I'd bring it up. Food for thought, that's all. But like I keep saying, folks, God is passing judgment. He will pass judgment. And when he passes judgment, it will be swift and decisive. And he ain't going to hide from it. No one will hide from it. I'm not talking about the very last days Armageddon type stuff. I'm talking about Babylon. And he's going to pass ba judgment on Babylon. And he's going to pass judgment on a few others. And then someday, after Antichrist defiles the temple, exalts himself as God, it's a very short time, three, three and a half years. God doesn't shorten the day. You know, you've heard me say, if he doesn't shorten the days, for even his elect would perish. And you'll know when he comes. Babylon won't be here. He will take Babylon out. And by all rights, he should. And this is what I'm talking about. Hot and cold. Lukewarm. That's why I wish... We just have to pray. And you can't cease in it. I mean, these people have taken the joy and the, and the, and the happiness and the love and, and all this good stuff that was, you know, out of, out, of, out of a lot of people's lives. Because they're such lawless, evil people. You have to pray for them. You have to pray to God. You have to pray for your for your enemies. You have to pray for your lawmakers. You have to pay for the pray for the police. You have to pray for all these people, even the ones that have done you wrong. Because you're fighting, you're fighting a spirit, an evil spirit is what you're fighting. See, you're not fighting flesh and blood. You're not fighting this. See, you have a choice to whether you want to be a vessel for evil or a vessel for good. You have that choice. Free will. Use it wisely. Use your free will wisely. That's what I'm saying. If you pray for these people, hopefully there's still a glimmer in there. Hopefully there's still something there that can pop out and go, you know, and they repent. But most will not. They don't want to give up what they have. What a damn shame. Damn shame. 
But that's neither here nor there. All you can do is pray for them. I mean, what God even tells you, if your enemy's hungry, feed him. Pray for your enemy. Forgive your enemy. But if your enemy tries to harm, kill you or harm you, well, that's a whole other story. you got a right to live. You have a right to defend yourself. Another story, another chapter, another verse. So, folks, continue to pray for everyone and, and your friends and your loved ones and, and such. And, and ask for the grace and the mercy and, and the wisdom. Ask for it. Try to be as righteous as you can be because that... That's what we all strive for, is to be righteous and to be to be to be a beacon for Christ. See, none of this is us. All all glory. All glory in the whole universe goes to God. If you do something good, somebody says, Well, thank you, well then you should be thanking God. It's God. You're just a vessel. Do not take the glory away from God. It's all God's glory. You get up in the morning, it's a beautiful day. That, that's God. That's not you. <laughs> you know, what's the weather man go, oh, yeah, thank me because it's nice weather? No, it's, it's all God. Just thank him. He does things in your life you don't even realize he's done. You could have left an intersection and then two seconds later, you didn't look in the rearview mirror and some semi come roaring through there. A couple seconds earlier, you'd been dead. And you don't realize that. I, I'm just using that example. There's thousands and thousands of things that have happened in your life that you probably don't even realize God's intervened. Some things you do. And man, make sure you thank him. And thank him for the things that, that, that you don't even know he's done. Anyways, I, I wish y'all the best. I really do. I, uh, I wish... Uh, I'm not saying... You know, life's a struggle in this world we live in because it's evil. You're fighting municipalities and such, evil spirits and that. But I hope you have a roof over your head and, and food in your stomach and, and you stay warm and dry the whole nine yards. I wish that for everyone. You don't even want your enemies to suffer like that. Anyways, folks, I should have got off here 10 minutes ago. Y'all take care. <laughs>